Hi everyone, I'm children's book author, illustrator Debbie ridpath -Oey. Today I'm going to read you Where Are My Books? I'm going to show you how to draw squirrels and I'm going to play you some music. Very excited about today, so let's get started. Spencer loved books. His favorite bedtime book was Night Night Narwhal. Sometimes he read it aloud. Every night, Spencer put the book back where it belonged. That way, he'd always be able to find it. Until one morning... Where is my book? Spencer looked everywhere, but it was no use. Night Night Narwhal was gone. That evening, he chose Tenacious Todd. It was okay, but Todd was a toad and toads were amphibians and amphibian books were for supposed to be for right after lunch story time. When Spencer woke the next morning, Tenacious Todd was gone. Every morning, another book was missing. Next to go was Send in the Clownfish. Then Beluga Beluga vanished. Sea Monkey and Bob went missing. Things were getting out of hand. Spencer vowed to find out what was going on. His father did not know what had happened to Night Night Narwhal. Spencer's mother had no idea either, nor had she seen Tenacious Todd send in the clownfish, Beluga Beluga, or any of Spencer's other missing books. That left only one person. Where are my books? Uh-oh. It was time for a new plan. That night, Spencer set a trap with his copy of Space Frog Sam. So he goes to sleep, ties one end of the string around his last book and the other end around his narwhal. The next morning, aha, Spencer, oh, it was time for Spencer to get his book back. Where are my books? Spencer ran faster. The thief was just around the corner. That's my book? What? What's going on? Spencer didn't know that squirrels like to read. It gave him a great idea. Spencer told the squirrels that they could borrow his book, but there would be rules. Just like at the library, they had to return the books they borrowed before they could borrow more. But they didn't need to leave anything behind. Spencer even helped them pick out their first book. He chose one for himself, too. And he promised to read it aloud. The end. And that was Where Are My Books? Written and illustrated by me, Debbie ridpath -Oey, and published by Simon & Schuster. So the main character in Where Are My Books was inspired by my nephew Spencer, who always loved to read. As for libraries, uh, well, I love libraries. They've always been part of my life, and our parents used to take us to the library every week. We got to choose whatever we wanted. Squirrels have also been part of my life. They are naughty. They eat the bird feed. They have cut off our power and our internet. But you know what? They are still fun to draw, which is the reason you will see squirrels quite often in my illustrations for all kinds of books like Sam and Eva. Can you spot the squirrel in this illustration? Well, as you may have noticed, there are many squirrels in my book, Where Are My Books? 
So here's one way of drawing a squirrel. So I draw, usually I begin with two shapes. They don't have to be perfect. They don't even have to be oval shaped. They could be square, triangles, wiggly. Then I add two ears. And the reason I wouldn't worry about it being exactly like this is when you're having fun with art, there's no such thing as making a mistake. Then I add two eyes and a nose. And then this is my favorite part, a bushy tail. And then two legs. And this squirrel is going to be, I'm gonna add a little mouth. A mouth, because this squirrel's partying, because this squirrel loves to read. So this is one way of drawing a squirrel, but so many ways you could draw squirrels. So one thing you could try doing is whole bunch of shapes. Doesn't have to be, and I challenge you to try creating as strange a squirrel as you can. I first draw an ordinary squirrel, but then invent a squirrel. So I'll show you what I mean. Here's a whole bunch of shapes. These are all gonna turn into squirrels. So this one, I am gonna draw two eyes, nose, but then I'm gonna add a unicorn horn. Cause I like unicorns. So I know you're saying a unicorn squirrel. Again, when you're having fun with art, you can pretty much do anything. And this is gonna be an alien unicorn squirrel from the planet uh, Blach, Blach Blach. Try to think of an interesting planet name. I don't know. Anyway, and he's saying, or she, actually this unicorn squirrel is gonna be kind of worried. I like putting emotions on my characters when I'm just having fun, either happy, sad, emotion, you know, worried, um, scared, and then I like asking myself questions. Why is this squirrel worried? Maybe he's worried because one morning he woke up and there's a unicorn horn out of his head and then what could happen next? But this is one way you could brainstorm ideas. Here, let's see. This is going to be another type of squirrel. What can we do for this squirrel? Maybe this squirrel has this long mouse tail. And uh, there's gonna be a cat squirrel. So, looks kinda like a cat. Cat squirrel. With little short, I wonder how he's supposed to pick anything up with. Anyway, that could be a cat squirrel. Um, you know what, I'm gonna make it messy tail. Looks more like a squirrel that way. Then this one is going to be, let's see. Squirrel. That's another cat squirrel. Okay, here's something else I've learned. When you're having fun with art, there's no such thing as making mistakes. Suppose I cover my eyes and I kind of go, oh. Now in the old days, I would have thought, oh, I made a mistake. I have to throw this out. This is so frustrating. But now I think, what can I turn that into? Now, when you're having fun with art, again, there's no such thing as making a mistake. So I Let's see, I could turn this into, you know what, maybe he has a mask, she has a mask on. Ninja squirrel, it's gonna be a ninja squirrel. Okay, so it has a ninja hat, and this is, this is her, her supply knapsack. Ninja squirrel, and her tail, that's a big one for her tail. And she is sneaking around, looking for books to read. <laughs> so she's going, where are my books? Looks very strange. But <laughs> I could, actually I would appreciate, what should I call this squirrel? If anyone has any ideas, please let me know. Okay, and this squirrel, let's see, I'll add two ears, and this one's gonna have <gasps> three eyes. Very alien squirrel. Three eyes. Maybe a couple of teeth. And, uh-oh, there's no room. You know what? This squirrel's really nervous because this ninja squirrel's right beside him. And he's saying, ah, you're making me nervous. You're too close. And he's he's kind of anxious and worried. And, oh, he has no tail. Because no, he has, so he is even more insecure because he has no tail. He does have feet, maybe three feet. 
and little tiny squirrel stick figure arms. But he's really worried and oh, this could be a story. So this is one way of coming up with character ideas and notice how I, that mistake I made um, actually turned into this new interesting ninja squirrel that could be part of his, these two could be character. Oh, this, I love art, I love art so much. So I challenge you all to take a piece of paper, you don't need expensive art materials, and come up with your own interesting squirrels. Wow.